Okay, so let's look at points on pulley constraint that exist in Maya. So we have this car model here and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a sphere which I would like to constrain to the body of this car. So first things first, I'm going to come over to a point like this and I'm going to select the face and select one particular part of this model and then select the sphere, go over to the constraint and come to the point on model, select the box here and make sure that this offset is turned to none. Then I'm going to go ahead and simply hit apply and close. And what we're going to notice is once I move this model from one position to another, that you find out that the object sticks to this uh, mesh. Next thing which we're going to notice is if I go ahead and maybe just simply select the vertex that is responsible around that place, and maybe just uh, try to do a soft selection and start moving this, you notice that the object is still parented to that particular part of our model. You can use this to position your object in different points in space. You also notice that if I move this vertex from one point to another, that the object is still constrained to the surface which it was initially uh, constrained to. This can be very helpful, especially if you want to add some sort of bombs or stuff on your character's face, or maybe you don't want to have them as uh, wrapped deformers on top of your character. This feature is not only limited to just objects that transforms, you can also use this feature for things like uh, animated objects. For example, if I extend this uh, plane and I position this plane all the way up to a point like this, and let's say I run a tiny simulation on this plane, let's go over to the FX cap and just simply run a tiny animation on this plane and play back you will notice that this plane just simply deforms to this car now if i want to attach an object to this the next well, what i need to do is just simply come through and just create a cube and i'm going to go ahead and select the face here and simply select that cube come over to the constraint and point on constraint make sure that the offset is turned off and simply hit apply and once I play back this animation, at any point you would notice that this object is still going to be constrained to this uh, plane.